Hope everybody having a great day. We're back with another video. A Latin Kings gang member who admitted to attacking the singer R. Kelly in federal jail in Chicago has been sentenced to life in prison for a drug racketeering conviction that includes the murders of two humble businessmen in 1999. On July 2019, 39-year-old Jeremiah Farmer was convicted of racketeering conspiracy and drug conspiracy charges. As a part of a racketeering conviction, a federal jury found Farmer killed Calumet Auto Repair owners, 74-year-old Mary Ann Lottery, and 67-year-old Harvey Seegers by beating them to death with a hammer in their business on June 25, 1999. Farmer was among 73 gang members of the Latin Kings gang, charged with racketeering conspiracy dating back to 1999. According to federal prosecutors, the conspiracy involved acts of murder, attempted murder, aggravated assault, sex trafficking, and drug distribution. In a legal filing in September, Farmer admitted to attacking the R&B singer R. Kelly in his jail cell. Legend has it until this day R. Kelly is still holding that note. The attack on Kelly happened at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in downtown Chicago where he awaits trial on his sex crimes in multiple jurisdictions. Kelly was asleep when the attack happened. He was getting punched by Farmer and the torso and also his head. A employee at the jail ordered Farmer to stop the attack. But when Farmer didn't listen, the employee stopped the assault by using pepper spray. The employee reported that he found Farmer on top of Kelly on the lower bunk in the cell. Following the attack, Kelly was moved to solitary confinement and Farmer was transferred to another federal prison. A federal judge denied Kelly's lawyer's request to question Farmer about the attack and ruled the beating not enough reason to grant Kelly bail. Kelly faces sex crimes in four separate jurisdictions, Chicago, New York, and Minnesota, and also Cook County. Federal charges in New York accused Kelly of using his fame to recruit young women and girls for illegal sexual activity. The racketeering case also accused him of kidnapping, sexual exploitation of a child, and forced labor. And the federal prosecutors in Chicago have charged him with videotaping himself having sex with underage girls. Also using hush money and intimidating witnesses to cover up his crimes. And the Cook County prosecutors have charged Kelly with multiple counts of sexual assault and sexual abuse against four women from years ago. Also, the Minnesota prosecutors have charged him with engaging in prostitution with an underage girl. Man, this guy has sexual cases everywhere. I thought it was that tape only. But now that I did all the research to do this video, I was like, man. If convicted for all his charges, Kelly could be facing the rest of his life in prison. Also, in his own words, Farmer said that he was forced to attack R. Kelly in hopes of getting the spotlight attention and the world news to shed light on the government's corruption. I'm probably about to make a part 2 to this video. I don't want to make it way too long. But what do you guys think? That R. Kelly about to beat the charges? I see it really hard. But leave in the comments below what you think. And thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. It really helps the channel out. See you on the next one. And thank you.